hello students i hope everyone is fine uh, this video is for class 10 subject mathematics and here today we will be discussing chapter number 25 that is measures of central tendency and in this chapter we will be discussing is how to find mean mean of some given data now there are various methods uh, to find mean but before we understand or learn those methods you need to understand data what is data and how many types are there because depending on each type of data we will be using different formulas different methods so here you can see that i have categorized it into three types: type 1 type 2 and type 3 so in type 1 it is ungrouped data so here how it will be given that it will be given only some numbers no boxes no columns nothing and in type 2 you can see that it's grouped data not in the form of classes so here again you will see two columns one will be variate which is uh, in example 2 uh, you can see its weight and other is frequency that is number of athletes over here in this example so these two thing will be given variate and frequency that is xi and fi and in type 3 you can see it's grouped data in the form of classes and in this example 3 you can see that it's, uh, of, it's, it's of the form of interval that is like 80 to 100, 100 to 120 like that. Each of these is class interval. The first class interval you can see is 80 to 100. Now here in this interval you see 80, 80 we call it lower limit and 100 we call it upper limit. The same for the second class interval. 100 to 120 100 is the lower limit and 120 is the upper limit so this way you can see that i have categorized data into three types and under each type i have written one one example each and we'll be solving this example further so here you can see there are four methods number one it is used only for type one okay we cannot use it for any other data so number one formula we'll be using only in case of ungrouped data so there how do we find mean we'll be adding up all the number that is summation xi and we'll divide it by n and what is n n is number of observation like for example how many numbers are there four numbers or six numbers or eight numbers or ten numbers like that how many numbers are there that will be n next is direct method so in this method we'll be seeing summation fi xi divided by summation fi now what is fi and xi you remember i said fi is frequency and xi will be variate and so we'll be multiplying and adding up and again we'll do division all this thing i'll show you in the next slide uh, by solving some problems on that now you see uh, number two uh, this uh, direct method we can apply it in type two and type three Next is uh, shortcut method that is our deviation method. Now here we see the formula is A plus summation Fi Di divided by summation Fi. So what are the new terms uh, that has been used over here is capital A and uh, summation Fi Di instead of Xi. Now what is A? A is actually assumed mean and how do we find that capital A? This will be the middle value of the Xi column. And what is di you can see here i've written di equals to xi minus a so this way we'll be uh, able to find di and this method we can use for both type 2 and type 3 next is step deviation method now here you see uh, the formula is a plus summation fi ui whole divided by summation fi then into c now what are the new terms over here new term is c and ui now what is c c is class size you remember that class interval 80 to 100 so what was the class size over there it was 20 class size means gapping how much gapping is there so from 80 to 100 the gap is of 20 so c will be 20 over there and ui to find ui you have a formula over here that is xi minus a whole divided by c this way we can find ui so here are the four methods we will be using. Now in the previous slides you have seen that I have written some examples. I have written three examples so under each uh, type of data right. So now here I will be solving all those uh, examples over here. 
example 1 it falls under the category ungrouped data right so in such case how will you find mean we'll be just adding up all the numbers here you can see that i've added up all the numbers and divided by 8 and why 8 because you see if you count there are 8 numbers 14 11 23 14 18 7 8 5 so all together i have 8 numbers that's why i'll be dividing it by 8 so after that all you have to do is calculation and find the answer next we'll be solving is example 2 and you see that example 2 it falls under the category type 2 data and for type 2 data we can use two methods you remember for type 2 data we can use two methods that is direct method and shortcut method only these two method we can use for type 2 data now i'll be sh showing you the first method that is direct method now what is the uh, formula over here summation fi xi divided by summation fi so we need to understand which one will be fi and which one will be xi xi is variate variate is like it will be uh, it will be like items for example it could be daily wages it could be weight or it could be height such things we call it to be variate or we represent it by xi and the frequency that is number of students or like number of pages or like number of workers such type that number of thing that will be appearing is we call it to be frequency and we denote it by fi then with that we'll make another column that is fi xi and what is fi xi it, it is actually multiplication and multiplying fi column with xi for example you see i get the first column sorry the third column over here fi xi is 168 and how do we get that 42 into 4 135 is 45 into 3 it's very easy and i've written it uh, for the first two or three things so you can uh, understand that how to use and how to find it after that we find fi xi for all of them we'll be adding up two columns number one will be adding up fi xi and second will be adding up fi why so because you see in the formula it is summation fi xi divided by summation fi so we need only addition of those two columns so if you add fi xi you see you will be getting 678 and uh, fi will be summation fi will be 15 and then you do the calculation easy next is shortcut method now if you look at the method what do we need a plus summation fi di divided by summation fi so first of all we need to find is a capital a and remember i said a is the middle value of the column xi so if you go to the column xi what is the middle value is 46 so a capital a over here is 46 and uh, same way it's fi is given in the question now you see i'll be finding here di because in the formula we need di so di is xi minus a so what we'll be doing we'll be uh, subtracting a that is 46 from the column xi from each one of them we'll be subtracting 46 so the first one we get is minus 4 how 42 minus 46 so same way we'll be doing for the whole column 45 minus 46 46 minus 46 like that so then we find the whole column di so next we'll be multiplying fi di the same way we have done for uh, direct method so after you find fi di by multiplying here we'll be adding up fi di because we need in the formula summation fi di not xi remember so summation fi di how much we get minus 12 and summation fi is 15 and now you just put it in the formula and after calculating you can find the answer next we'll be doing is example number three which falls under the category type three remember one thing over here that type three uh, given uh, data we can use three types of methods over here in such type we can use direct method shortcut method and step division method all the three methods we can use in such type of data okay and i'll be showing you two methods over here now if you look at the question you'll see that only frequency is given that is fi is given but xi is not given that is given only interval like 80 to 100 so in that case you cannot assume xi a single number so there must be some formula to find xi so whenever class interval is given we'll find class mark and class mark will be xi and what is the formula to find class mark it is upper limit plus lower limit whole divided by 2 
you see in the first class interval it is 80 to 100 right so what is the lower limit over here 80 and upper limit is 100 so we'll be doing 80 plus 100 whole divided by 2 and if you do like that you'll get the answer is 90 the same way for the second one 100 plus 120 whole divided by 2 you'll get 110 the same way for uh, all of this so in this way we can get xi and then we'll find fi xi which i have shown you earlier how to find that so after you find fi xi it's easy you add it and also you add the fi column and then if uh, divide the answer summation fi xi by summation fi and then you'll find the answer now using the same question i'll be showing you how to find uh, first step deviation method how to use that in that method if you look at the formula the formula is capital a plus summation fi ui whole divided by summation fi into c so what we need we need fi ui and we need c now what is c over here c the interval is 80 to 100 so what is the gapping over here if you do minus 100 minus 80 you'll see the gapping is of 20 so c is 20 over here so after that we have to make five columns first will be the class interval second column it is fi that is given in a question third column will be xi which you have to find how it is uh, the class mark you remember the formula was lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 In this way you find xi next is you find di and uh, i have shown you already how to find di it will be xi minus capital a and what is capital a over here if you look at the xi column what is the middle value the middle value is 130 so a will be 130 so we'll be subtracting 130 from each one of these from xi column this way we'll get the di column and now after we find di we need to find ui because in the formula we need ui not di so how do you find ui ui will be getting by dividing di column by c and what is c c is 20 i said so what we'll be doing we'll be dividing di column by 20 so first one is minus 40 so you divide by 20 answer is minus 2 second is minus 20 you divide it by 20 answer is minus 1 so this way uh, for the whole column you can find the answer so now after we find ui what you have to find is fi ui because that's what we need in the formula so here we'll be multiplying two column fi with ui that is 20 into minus 2 that gives minus 40 then 30 into minus 1 that gives minus 30 like that you find fi ui after that you add up the column fi di sorry fi ui so after you add you see uh, you'll get summation fi ui equals to 150 and again one more we need is summation fi which is 200 so after that is just uh, you have to put it in the formula that is capital a is over here 130 summation fi ui we have got uh, 150 and summation fi we have got 200 into c is class size 20 and then you calculate and you get the answer let's start the exercise now you see in question number one two and three uh, in these questions the data are given in ungrouped form so for all these questions you have to apply the first formula for the ungrouped one then next question number four you see the uh, data is given there in sub question uh, roman number one they are asking to find the mean so finding mean is easy here you will just add up and divide by 10 because there are 10 uh, numbers now for solving uh, roman number 2 3 and 4 you need a result here you can see in this slide there is a result that if mean of some given numbers is a so how does it change when we change the number also so you see in roman number 1 when we are changing all these numbers by adding a number k what happens the mean also get increased by k if we subtract k then mean also get it, uh, decreased by k and if we multiply k to all these numbers even in that case also mean it gets multiplied by k so here you don't have to again do it from the beginning right so all you have to do is that you just multiply or add or subtract whatever that given number is so you see in roman number two it says that 
find the mean when the mark of each student is increased by 2 it means they are increasing all the number by 2 so what will be the answer uh, from roman, roman number 1 you can see that the mean we have uh, got is 35.6 so it means in number 2 it will increase by 2 that will be 37.6 and in roman number 3 you see uh, they are asking you to find the mean of the marks when one mark is deducted from the marks of each student so here they're decreasing by one so what will happen we'll be doing minus one from the mean that is 35.6 minus one and in the next they're saying uh, find the mean when the mark of each student are halved so it means they're multiplying half so there what we'll be doing 35.6 into one by two and then you calculate you'll get the answer now in number five you see they gave you uh, some numbers and they gave you six numbers out of which one number is missing that is x so there they asked you to find the value of x and they gave you the mean so here we know uh, this is ungrouped data so for ungrouped data we have to find the sum and divide it by the total numbers so total number we have six so when you add you'll find uh, one uh, equation type over there right there will be one x so from here you can solve it next in question number six they are asking you to find the mean of 25 numbers and it is given that the mean of 15 number is 18 so see if the mean of 15 numbers is 18 then the sum will be 15 into 18 of all those numbers so the answer is 270 so sum of 15 numbers altogether will be 270 and next they uh, they give you the mean of remaining ones so remaining ones will be 25 minus 15 that is 10 numbers right so mean of 10 numbers is given 13 so what will be the sum of these 10 numbers 13 into 10 that is 130 so now after you find the mean of 15 numbers and mean sorry sum of 15 numbers and sum of 10 numbers if we add up together that is 270 plus 130 we'll be getting sum of 25 numbers so after you find the sum of 25 numbers we'll be finding mean by dividing it the total um, uh, number so here the uh, total number is 25 they're asking you to find the mean of 25 numbers so here we'll be dividing the sum that is 400 by 25 and then you'll get the answer mean of 25 numbers next question number 7 and 8 is of the same type you can try then you see question number 9 10 11 and 12 uh, in these four questions the data that is given is not of the form class right so it is of the type 2 and type 2 as said you can use uh, any of the method uh, direct method or shortcut method in any of the method you can use normally I prefer the shortcut method the calculation becomes easier if the given data is a bigger number for smaller number you can apply direct method but if the numbers are bigger then you can uh, use shortcut method calculation becomes easier by that method so using either of the method you can solve question number 9 10 11 and 12 and you can find the mean of the following questions In the question you can see that in question number 13 uh, in the frequency column they gave you one frequency missing and they replaced it by f so here you have to find that f and the mean of the following distribution is given to be 7.5 now here you see variable is xi i said and frequency is fi so we have xi fi column right then we have to make another column xi fi where we'll be multiplying both of them so after you find the xi fi column put it in the formula what is the formula summation fi xi divided by summation fi so you have to add up two column first you have to add up uh, fi xi then you have to add up fi so after you add fi xi you see there is a uh, f over here right so always remember you cannot add 7 uh, f with any other number because normal numbers and variables they are different so you cannot add up with them and so if you add xi fi you'll, you'll be getting 563 plus 7 f and if you add summation fi you'll be getting 74 plus f and in your book the mean is uh, given 7.5 so from here we'll be getting one equation and then from here if you solve the equation you'll find the value of f from here easy 
same way you try to solve question number 14 and 15 you'll find the missing variable next is uh, question number 16 there they asked you to find the mean by using shortcut method and you can solve it question number 16 and 17 are same type next question number 18 you see it's given in the form of class interval right so it is of the form type 3 so type 3 question you can use direct method <coughs> or shortcut method or step deviation method normally I prefer uh, step deviation method because calculation becomes easier with that so here you see class interval is given in question number 18 0 to 15 the first class is uh, 0 to 50 I said you this is not xi for xi you have to find the class mark so the formula is lower limit plus up, upper limit divided by 2 so here uh, xi will be 0 plus 50 divided by 2 that is 25 next one will be 75 so you find it that way and you can solve it next question number 19 20 21 22 uh, 23 up to 23 it's of uh, again same type and uh, they mentioned you the method so you can solve it I've shown you already how to do step deviation method now question number 24 you see in question number 24 what is the first class given It's given 75 to 79 next is 82 84 you see the interval is not continuous it means that the first in the first class you see what is the upper um, upper limit 79 so for the next class the lower limit is supposed to be 79 but it is not 79 it's 80 so there is a gap right gap of one so what we'll be doing is that from all these lower limit we'll be subtracting 0.5 and to all the upper limits we will be adding up 0.5 right so in this way if we will do then we will get a continuous interval so 75 minus 0.5 you will be getting 74.5 and again uh, with 79 is the upper limit of the first uh, interval uh, first class interval so there we will be adding up so 79 plus 0.5 it will be 79.5 now for the second class interval it is 80 to 84 so with 80 we will be subtracting 0 0.5 so 80 minus 0 0.5 it will be 79.5 and with 84 we will be adding up 0 0.5 so 84 plus 0 0.5 it will be 84.5 so now you see we are getting a continuous class interval this way you can find for the rest of the column so now after you find the class uh, interval what we will be uh, doing is find xi so xi again is the mid value of the class interval so 75 sorry 74.5 plus 79.5 whole divided by 2 if you do you'll get the answer 77 so this way you find the whole xi column and the frequency is already given in the book and so you write the fi column as well now here to solve the um, question i'm applying step deviation method because in this method I find the calculation to be easy now <coughs> you find di and how do you find di xi minus a now you see in the xi column uh, the middle value is 92 right so we'll be subtracting 92 from each one of the element from the xi column so 77 minus 92 you'll be getting minus 15 82 minus 92 you'll be getting minus 10 this way you fill the column next is ui and what was the formula for ui ui was di divided by c now you see if you look at the class interval that is uh, 79.5 minus 74.5 the gapping is of 5 it means the class interval each of the class interval have a gap of 5 so c is 5 over here so what we'll be doing we'll be dividing the uh, di column all the numbers in di column by 5 so when you divide minus 15 by 5 you get minus 3 minus 10 divided by 5 is minus 2 so this way you find the whole column next is we have to find fi ui so fi ui how will you get multiplying these two column fi column with ui column so 4 into minus 3 minus 12 9 into minus 2 minus 18 like that you find the whole column fi ui now what was the formula a plus summation fi ui whole divided by summation fi into c so we need to find the summation fi ui and the summation fi so here you can see i have added up uh, summation fi ui is minus 19 and uh, summation fi is 60 
so then you put it in the formula and a is uh, 92 so after you put it in the formula you calculate then you can get the answer so whenever uh, the class interval is not given continuous first of all your work will be to convert it into a continuous class interval okay next you see in question number 25 they did not give you any class interval uh, the data that is given it is of the uh, type less than form so here you see the first column is less than 5 next column is uh, less than 10 so if you compare what is the gap gap is of 5 it's jumping 5 right so for the first column in question number 25 which is given less than 5 will convert it into interval each of these will convert it into interval now less than 5 means what it's less than 5 so it must be from 0 to 5 so this less than 5 will be considering this as a class interval uh, like 0 to 5 next one less than 10 will be considering it to be 5 to 10 why because already to uh, from 0 to 5 we have considered in the first uh, interval next will be 10 to 15 like that will be go will be going up to uh, 35 to 40 that will be your last uh, interval now you see in the question uh, when the number of students that is given it is of less than type right so here with the class interval the frequency will also change after you find the class interval we have to find xi that is the class mark uh, by now you have i've said repeatedly so many times how to find so after you find xi your next work will be to find fi now here you have to notice that the frequency that is given is of different type of data right so you cannot write uh, the frequency directly from the question here the frequency will be changing because we are considering interval so how we'll be getting we'll be subtracting from each of these for example the first uh, one is 3 so i'll be writing 3 as it is second is 10 right in the frequency column second is 10 but in uh, table uh, for class interval you have to write the frequency for class interval only so we'll be subtracting so first one is 3 second one will be 10 minus 3 that is 7 third will be 25 minus 10 that will be 15 second will be 49 minus 25 that is 24 so like that you will be finding all the frequency for the class interval type so after you find fi next is same thing is the only di u i and then uh, fi ui is the same process i have shown you already then you put all the values in the formula and you will find the answer